Late afternoon after mowing some properties, I stopped by a local metal scrap yard on the way home and I seen this Aaron's push mower with its owner's manual. There was a dinky yard machine's mower right beside of it. My truck bed was full with other stuff so I had no room to snatch it and no time to get back before they closed. But like I said, it was late afternoon, so they were going to close in around 45 minutes. So I thought I'd be the first one there when the gate opens on Saturday morning, and hopefully it would still be there. Hello everyone, I'm Big Al Cox, and here on my channel, I look at and attempt to repair small engine equipment. I'm on my way to Metal Monkeys right now, which is a scrapyard in High Point, North Carolina that I go by every now and then to find mowers and other stuff to work on. They open at 8.30, so I should be arriving about the time the gate opens. The errands is still there. Awesome. The dinky yard machines is also. The errands is what I'm really interested in, though. It has the paperwork with it. Unheard of in a scrap yard. Barely at a yard sale or even a private sale for that matter. It has some blades on top of it, maybe used, but still can be sharpened and used again, it looks like. Some of these seem to be different. Well, let me see if I can make a deal with the manager. Okay, I ended up with both of those mowers. He wanted 30 for the errands and 20 for the yard machines. Well, I really didn't look all that close at the yard machines and just looking at it, it had some rust on the top and a missing air cover box. Kind of ragged out cheap mower. I offered him 10 bucks for the yard machines and he was good with that. If anything, I can use parts off of it if it don't run. My goal today is to give a general assessment of the condition of these units, look for any missing parts or broken pieces, see if the engine is still viable and will at least fire off, and that will tell me if I need to scrap the unit for parts because of the cost of repairs for parts and time, or revive it to use on a regular basis. This is the Yard Machines. It's a 20 inch mower with a little old Briggs and Stratton 300E series 125cc engine. It is missing the air box cover and it has a nice rust issue here on the top. That will soon be all the way through so it needs attention certainly. Otherwise it looks solid. I see no all the way through rust anyways. Checking the tank bone dry. We have a good blade brake control there. The handle looks all correct. Has a good pull rope on it. This is the Aaron's mower. The main reason I wanted to get this mower is the fact that I've never owned anything that is an Aaron's. And this looks to be a good specimen. It's talking to me, let's say. It has a story to tell. And it's a good thing for me they closed the mental asylums. The bagger is with this unit, not that I use one a lot, but that's a plus. The power box is a Tecumseh 6 horsepower. These are actually fairly good engines when you keep them up. Easy start, it says. We'll see about that. Wheels can tell you some about the wear on the mower. These are about a 5.5 to 6 on the 1 to 10 scale. 
they have the fancy wheel bolt caps on them this mower has seen some use but it is in good shape no rust spots not even any surface rust does concern me a little this plug wire being off maybe just pulled off or maybe a problem with spark how often do you get the owner's manual with anything used not often and hey check this out it's the dealer's checklist page that is very cool and this is the owner's manual for that to comp the engine on this machine how cool is that there's also notation I'm seeing wrote on the stuff here and the parts manual it just keeps getting better <laughs> cool thing is I should have a parts number for anything I need on this errands it's awesome to have all this information it will be very helpful in my future ownership of this machine if I intend to go forward with it are parts still available for this stuff where do I get them <laughs> errands is all new to me I would say these have to be specialty blades for this mower. They're not banged up or nothing. I think they could actually be sharpened and used again. There's like four of them here. <laughs> Won't have to buy blades for a while. But these two blades here, they can't be for this machine. These look like blades for maybe a 48 inch, some kind of MTD brand. Maybe someone can use them that I know. This looks like it may be a blade for that yard machine's mower. Real backbreaker there. <laughs> no good way to lift a lawn mower. Not like they got go handles on them. Welcome back a regular to the program, Napa Max Carbon Choke Cleaner. According to the tag on this unit, it is an 11A02BT729 from 2018. So at this point, around six years old. I put a splash of 90 octane fuel down in the tank. Oh man, the engine's not stuck, but she's not happy. <laughs> Pull start sticking some also. That engine is not good. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the plug and see if that gives us any clues. Now that's water, I can smell it. It's like old water in engine candle scent. Not good. This engine may be boiled in rotten rain water. With that air box missing, moisture could just come right in this engine, especially sitting in the weather. Well, with that plug out, the mechanics seem to move more freely. I'll get some Marble Mystery Oil and ATF and let that sit in that engine a while. I'll drain the oil out. I'll go in, have a cup of coffee, make some phone calls and run some errands while it's soaking in that.
Okay, I have purged my lubrication concoction and I'm doing a final spray out with some PB blaster and pulling on the start to kind of purge and get anything left in the engine out of it. That pull start's still not real happy. I'm going to try a little PB blast on that. Maybe that'll free it up. I think it's just where the weather has gummed it up. Maybe some of that got up in there. Yeah, that's a little better. The engine feels some better than it did before, I can say. Okay, I'll replace my spark plug now. I found a good used one and cleaned it up. That plug in it was just too rusty and nasty. Water in an engine is no good. I've actually started an engine before and seen water fly out a muffler and keep running. <laughs> I give this engine about a 40% chance by the way it felt just not a lot of faith in this one this might be a parts machine i'm going to add some penzoil 10w30 back into the crankcase they made me a good deal on that at napa so why not <laughs> I've added some fresh fuel with Marvel Mystery Oil in that. I'm not even going to mess with that nasty primer bulb. I doubt it even works. So I'm going to try the starter fluid again. If I can get the straw in it. everywhere way too much perfect like Derek says whoa that just fired makes me one for two today that's good inspiration to check out the errands does this unit have an ignition problem errands mulch mow bag and back four and one model nine one one zero seven nine I wanted to take a look underneath at the blade on this unit especially and yeah it looks pretty good underneath no clumps of grass stuck on the deck no rust through anywhere no rust even really very nice and yeah those blades were extras for this unit you have entered the mulching zone That drive system looks fun to work on. Fascinating to say the least. To me anyway.
there's like a big gear on the back of that wheel there looks like it connects to that drive somehow this is the engine tag she'll let you know she'll walk herself I guess that's a speed control for the transmission there that's kind of cool okay checking the fuel tank seems to be fairly dry I don't really see anything the oil well it's low and black <laughs> I'll add a little to that and that'll be good enough to see if it will at least fire off. I've been trying to figure out where the extra piece that come with this goes. Well I finally figured that out. It is a protective cover over the muffler. It's missing some mounting hardware I think. Okay, I'm going to reconnect the spark plug and hope there's spark. I would connect up a tester, but I'd never see it out here in the daylight. So I'll just go for it. I figured out this is the air box. A slot screw here at the top of this cover. That has a pre-element there. The main element is actually fairly clean good enough okay I added a little fuel to the tank I don't know if that primer bulb actually works but I'm just going to spray a little max carb cleaner in the intake and see if anything happens being a little stubborn it seems like maybe no spark hey it just popped <laughs> there you go tell me what's wrong with it maybe a tune-up a bath with a little engine oil PB blaster starter fluid Marvel mystery oil and a used spark plug I was able to start the engines on both of these machines well worth a Saturday morning trip to the scrapyard now I can say I've owned an errands can't say I've actually worked on one really still <laughs> other than to get it started after this thing's probably sat a while but wow what a score that errands is it starts it runs the drive system works it has the owner's manual along with a parts manual and an engine manual and I have four blades that come with it also so I won't have to buy blades for a good long time just unbelievable that this is a scrapyard score it really just needs the oil changed and the bath really <laughs> awesome to the max
As for the yard machines, she fought me a little harder with the water in the engine. This unit needs a air box cover number one, and it has a rust spot that needs to be addressed number two. But this mower could actually be refurbished and used again and has life left in it. This would be the perfect little trim mower or mower suitable for the soul with a small yard. You're certainly not going to mow a field of tall grass or a lot of grass with this unit. That is not what it's made for. It is a cute little mower though. I have other videos coming soon. Some have asked me about the $50 John Deere mower. I have finished the video shoots on that. There are two videos coming where I do a tune-up on this LA-105 and the various maintenance stuff. And another video where I pull the deck and go through that and make it great again. I'm also working on an older Murray from that same scrapyard as this morning. I had to order some carburetor parts for that one. They are in, so I need to finish that one up. And I need my Husqvarna saw running and cutting. <laughs> I lost my chain tension screw on that, and I had to order one of those. So replacing that is going to be another video coming up. And as you've seen at the first of this video, I need to work on my windshield wipers on my 93 Dodge Dakota. I only have one that's actually working and I have finally got all the parts together to fix that. Not exactly a small engine, but I think other first generation Dakota owners may find that video helpful. Well, until the next time, let's pray for our brothers and sisters impacted by Hurricane Helene. Truly unbelievable destruction there, flooding and loss of life. And that happened right here in our state of North Carolina and some others. By God's grace, we are fine here, but I urge people to give to Samaritan's Purse if you're wanting to donate. I'm Big Al Cox, and I wish all around the world peace and many blessings from my shop to yours.